News, putting North Dakota first. Welcome back. In tonight's KX Conversation, we're talking tourism. Commerce, Tourism, and Marketing Director Sarah Ott Coleman joins us now. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. Happy to be with you. It's an exciting week, Travel and Tourism Week. We're all, we're all getting ready for those summer vacations. Yeah, yeah. and you say uh, North Dakota's in a good position to recover from the pandemic. Why do you say that? You know, we're feel re feeling really good because we've got the perfect offerings for what people are going to be looking for this summer. Um, all the research shows that people are going to be hitting the road. They're going to be taking road trips, um, getting out to places where they can enjoy um, recreation. A lot of people bought um, recreation equipment last year that they want to use, whether that's bikes or kayaks or RVs or whatever it might be. And we've just got the perfect perfect offering for them and we've really developed some great tools to try to motivate them to choose North Dakota and to stay here longer. And yesterday your team unveiled a plan for expanded services at the Chateau de Mora's Visitor Center in Medora. What can you tell us about that? We did. You know, we don't have state-run visitor centers here in North Dakota. We Our CVBs and, and, and communities do a great job of providing visitor services. But we also know we've got some great state infrastructure, like the visitor centers at some of the historic sites, as well as the state parks and rest areas. So we unveiled our pilot um, project, which was at the Chateau de Mora's Visitor Center, where we just built out a really enhanced um, visitor center area where people can get um, printed materials, but they can also get um, information from the staff that are working there in a just really fun and freshly rebranded space. And we should thank our firefighters for <laughs> saving the Chateau. Absolutely, yeah, and we know with all that's going on, people are just raring to get out there and travel. We know more people are traveling, Sarah, regionally and closer to home. So how is North Dakota Tourism trying to take advantage of that? You know, that's exactly right. We've retooled all of our resources to make it easy for visitors to choose North Dakota because we're, you know, people are busy, right? They don't have a ton of time to plan. And so our website has been retooled with trip ideas that you can search by route or by interest. Um, we have a brand new road trip guide that was just um, just released and, and those are flying out the door. Um, and then we also have a new state map that we're partnering with the North Dakota DOT on. That will be out in the next few um, weeks or I guess about a month. And that also has some great itineraries and, and um, ideas. And then every month we're, we're featuring a different itinerary where we really go into details. You know, where can you stop to get a great cup of coffee on the route? And what are the good, you know, unique scenic places to see and, and food and drink and entertainment and all those things rolled in into those more detailed itineraries. Endless possibilities here in the great state of North Dakota. Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Great to be with you. Thank you. Next time.